Welcome to the SNAP's Application Delivery Controller Setup Guide. We'll show you how to configure the balancer, accelerator and WAF modules in order to form a comprehensive ADC solution. For the purposes of this video, we are starting with a fresh instance in order to guide you through the necessary steps. The first of which is configuring your balancer group, which can be done by clicking on the balancer menu and clicking create a load balancer in order to use the wizard. This will be a simple HTTP load balancer. We'll be using a unique port number on the balancer in order to free up port 80 on the accelerator group. Here we just need to add a web server. You'd usually have two or more servers here, but for the purposes of this video, this will be fine. Now I can start the balancer. Once the balancer has started, you can verify it's working correctly by accessing your web server via the balancer IP on port 81. The next step is to configure the accelerator to speed things up. We'll be using the wizard since we haven't configured the accelerator before. I'm going to leave all the default settings in place and use the localhost IP address and port 81 as that's what I've allocated on the balancer. On the next step, I can select the IP address we want to listen on, in addition to the port number. I'm going to leave this as port 80. Now I can start the accelerator. And once the accelerator has started, I should now be able to access the very same IP address using port 80. Our request is now being processed through the accelerator, onto the balancer, and then to our web server. The next step would be to configure any particular WAF rules, like IP blacklists or geo IP zones and any other settings that you might want. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to leave all the default rules in place. In order to apply these, I need to select them in the settings menu under the accelerator front end we just created and click save to apply the changes. The next step would be to reload the accelerator in order for these changes to take effect. You can do so simply by clicking on the notification here, or from the Accelerator dashboard. That's it! Our traffic's now flowing through the WAF and Accelerator, onto the Balancer, and then to our web servers. On the ADC dashboard, you'll see a summary of the Balancer and Accelerator requests. On this dashboard, you'll also see memory usages as well as system CPU usage. On the ADC Request Savings page, you'll see the amount of requests saved and assumed savings. You can then see more data by clicking on hourly or daily tabs. Those are all the settings that are necessary in order to form a comprehensive ADC solution through SNAPS. Have any questions? Head on over to snap.net or contact support at snap.net.